What if the child is an Angie's? Are you kidding me? What if it's not Angie's? Whose is it exactly? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I have a weird feeling. You would say something like that based on a weird feeling? Okay, then it's more than a weird feeling. It's it's a puzzle, you know? It's it's a puzzle where the pieces aren't fitting. No, I've never been very fond of puzzles. Okay, well, don't jump all over me because I, I, I'm i telling you this. I wouldn't you. tell you lower, this. Lower, lower, okay. lower your voice. Ever since they brought Dr. Hubbard in, Ever since I examined her, I've been trying to figure this thing out, and I get it, it sounds absolutely crazy. Why don't you give me an explanation, because I'm telling you, something isn't right. Oh. I'm sorry to lay this on you, but I just can't ignore it. I mean, you were there when they brought Angie in. If something didn't seem a little off. Baby's fine. Healthy. <sighs> Mommy's fine. What's off about that? Okay, th there were no questions. There's no voice inside of your no, head. If you do this with every single case that comes through this hospital, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Okay, well, it's not just every single case, all right? We're talking about a placental abruption, and, and you know what? It's not a mild I am one aware. Either. Of what Are you I want. aware of the circumstances under the best circumstances? How many babies survive this? Now, in this particular case, what happens? They're out in the middle of nowhere. There's no doctor. The mother passes out. There are no medical supplies. Yes, he was there. What are the odds, Jake? I'm talking about odds. I don't wanna talk about <sighs> odds. Forget about odds. They were fine. Call it a miracle if you want to. A miracle? Yeah, a miracle. I believe in miracles. Mm. I know that we're all about science and logic and everything, but miracles happen every day in medicine. You know it. I know. You've seen it. We saw it together in the field, right? Things that shouldn't happen, couldn't happen, just do. Every day. Yes, but I'm talking about this. I don't want to talk about it. Drop it. Drop this whole thing. Okay? I'm Officer Monroe. No, I, I, I don't know what happened, all right? I can't even begin to guess, but Please, the baby... Please, just stop. Stop I know this. that the, the Hubbards are your friends. I know that they're your close friends. Yes. Some of the best people I know at... I get you're trying to protect them. Let me tell you a little story about Angie, okay? She found out that she was losing her sight. Um, she didn't tell anybody, not a soul. And she found this uh, experimental medicine that was supposedly going to stop the disease right in its tracks. So she started taking the medicine. Then she found out she's pregnant, right? Now, she's thinking, this medicine's probably going to hurt the baby. She's not willing to do that, so she had to choose. The baby or her sight? Her sight, her ability to practice medicine, life as she knew it. But the baby meant so much to her, she was willing to give all that up. And Jesse, can you imagine what that felt like for Jesse, just sitting back and watching this happen to your wife? The fear, the fear of your wife going through that and not being able to do anything, but he did. He had her back because the child meant just as much to him as it did to her. I didn't know. Right. Well, they're good people. They're great people. They've spent their life helping other people. That's what I they know, do. And I'm not arguing that. But I'm... you just want to be able to solve your puzzle. No, that's it. Angie and Jesse deserved a miracle. They got a miracle. Let's just be happy. Let's be grateful. Okay, okay. okay. I, I'm sorry. That's there you it. Are. Hey, what's up? <sighs> There's no good way to say this, so I'm just going to say it. They found a dead woman in your brother's bed. Shut up, Ted. This is not the time. I'm not joking. What? I just heard from Jesse. I don't know what happened. I don't know any of the details. We, oh, my God. Where's, where's Griff? He's on his way to the police station. Okay, well, obviously he would never hurt anybody. I um go. You should go. Yeah, I have patience yes, though. I got you. Come okay, on. Come all right. On. Come, come on, just leave it. Leave it. Wait a minute. That's how you got beaten up. So this whole story about some flings, jealous ex-boyfriend. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm sorry. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to explain to them what happened. Yeah, yeah, explain a bunch of lies. Wait a second. My brother put his life on the line for you with those casino people. Wait a minute. You you knew about this? Yeah. So did I. The fact is, Griff asked me to do some digging around, find out what I could about Zach's old partner, so I've sort of been facilitating. You gotta be kidding me. Any other cases you're working, I wanna know about? Hubbard. Um, I'd like to speak to Griffin alone, please. Sure. This is insane. It's gonna be okay. That's not the vibe I'm getting from the police. They'll come around. Don't worry. I hope so, Griff. <laughs> I have some more questions for you. Shoot. The sooner we clear this up, the better. 
What is that? Plane tickets found in your room. Plane tickets to where? New Zealand. First class. One for Diana Holden and one for you. Those are not my plane tickets. Oh, those are not the only thing we found. Also found a large stash of prescription drugs. I'm a doctor. I keep samples of drugs at my home. Samples? Well, there were enough samples to party with the entire South Side for a month. I mean, we're talking large quantities of painkillers, narcotics, antibiotics, too. This is crazy. Tell me about it. You want to hear something crazier? $75,000 in cash just laying around your room. Unless, of course, you were planning, oh, I don't know, say a trip. It's not mine. Somebody's been stealing drugs from the hospital. I'm being set up. Who's setting you up? Someone involved with the casinos. Okay, they don't want me poking my nose in Zach's death. I'm in prison. They walk. <sighs> Diana. Holden worked for the casinos. You're telling me that they killed one of their own? Why would they do that? I don't know. Maybe to send a message. Maybe you're the one who wants to send a message. What? Abs, no! She could have been stepping out on you. Uh, you're out uh, selling the drugs, you got the money, you know, planning this nice trip to New Zealand. You come home, you find her with somebody else, I don't know. snap. Hey, listen, the drugs, the money, the, the body, they were all planted. Excuse me, I have to say something here. I don't really give a damn about Diana Holden. But my husband may have been murdered, so I need answers. What are you saying? I, I need, I need, I need answers. I need the truth about what happened to Zach, and that means getting everything out in the open. Griffin was stealing drugs from the hospital. He told me so himself. 